guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video um, is a very natural, or attempted to be natural anyway, relaxed tutorial. I've obviously called the video my everyday look, but the truth is if I've got a, like my days off, I actually don't wear makeup at all. I can't really do a tutorial on that because that would be like literally the most boring one minute long video ever to go onto YouTube. Here we are. So the truth of the matter is, this kind of makeup is what I do on like a day shift. And if, for example, I am going to see a friend, or I kind of have to look like I've made the effort, do you know what I mean? But it's chill and it's daytime. And the truth is I'm not very creative uh, during those kind of days because I don't have to be. Uh, so it is very, like, I have this routine down to a T, basically. Uh, the other thing I wanted to say before you go on and watch the tutorial is that obviously I go by the name of British Beauty by India here on YouTube. So, <laughs> obviously, I then created a British Beauty by India Instagram account. Um, but a couple of weeks ago, I realised that I really do not put any effort into that account. And I just lose a lot of followers and there's just zero activity going on. And I struggle to find things to post and blah, blah, blah. So I was like, you know what? stop because I put so much effort into my personal Instagram and the thing is there's a lot of people who are on follow me on my personal Instagram they know me and they know what I'm like so they know all my Insta stories are going to be of me throwing a new face mask or oof, shaving my face because I get a lot of more kind of communication activity on my personal one about what I love which is skincare and makeup that's where I put all my effort in so I was like why do I even have to if I'm doing the same thing on both accounts anyway and actually happen to be doing more on my personal one uh make zero sense so I made the effort to stop the British Beauty one and focus more on my India Madeleine one so if you do follow British Beauty by India, I am sorry, but there will be zero activity on that account for the foreseeable future. If you're interested in following me and everything that I do, which I mean when I say everything, I mean everything, um, it is India Madeleine. That's the one you need to follow. Okay, anyway, please go and enjoy the tutorial. As always, if you have any questions or want to say anything about this, this, this said tutorial, uh, please comment down below. I'm always more than happy to interact with you. Or dodgy if I say it like that. My god, what's wrong with me? Anyway, you get my point. Obviously, if you like my content, if you want to see more, please subscribe. Um, other than that, please enjoy it, more importantly. And I will see you guys next time. Crap, I should have worked out what this is called before I press record. Okay, first off is moisturizer. Um, I am still bang on my Alpha H thing, okay, so don't get it twisted and think, wow, she's psycho, she's changed her moisturizer. Again, the thing is, is that I've had like one of my flare ups of my really, really scabby, like dry skin thing. And anyway, so I use this, and I still can't really work out what it's called and what, where it's from, but it's Korean skincare. Anyway, I get it on Cult Beauty. Um, this is the best thing I've ever found, like bar steroid cream, and it gets rid of it really quite quickly. So that's why I'm using this today. Made Sierra Cream, and it looks like it's Skin RX Lab. Anyway, it looks something like this. Shit's amazing, okay? It literally, look how much I use. A little goes a long way. Right, so primer. Today's primer, I am using the Too Faced Hangover Primer. Oh, my bad. Hangover Replenishing Face Primer. This one. Next up, it is the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops. Yes! So this color is in Blossom, yeah? This will be zero surprise for most of you. So, today's foundation is indeed the Ordinary Coverage Foundation. My color is 2.1Y. 
medium. Next up is concealer. So I have a new concealer for you guys today. This one is the Urban Decay All Nighter Concealer. You know I am on the hunt for the next best concealer because mine is <laughs> Not going through this again. Okay, so this one. You know I tried the Kat Von D one. I love that, but this, this is seriously full coverage. Anyway, you will see. Anyway, if you guys are interested in this, I will give you one warning. It does oxygenate. Oxygen. Oxygenite, oxygenate, oxen, something. Basically, when it comes into contact with oxygen, it goes darker. So I would say go for a lighter color than you're used to getting. So my color for this is medium neutral. So to be setting that today, I'm going to be using the Ben Knight Luxury Powder and this one is in Cameo. Right, for powder today, it is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. This one is a medium golden. I'm on the hunt for my perfect shade in this powder, okay? So this is brand new, like how fresh is that? And you will be seeing loads of MAC products. I'm so sorry, but I just got like the biggest MAC order ever. I have problems. Please be my color, please, please, please. Yes! No, I've never tried this color out, and yes, I'm trying it for the first time on camera today, and no, I did not have a backup plan if it was not my color. I would have just wung it. Wung it? Wung it. I would have just winged it. But I think this is good. I think this is like spot on. Oh, spot on. Thank you, makeup gods. Oh, I love that. Okay, right, you guys, I have a new bronzer. I know, I know. You didn't see this one coming either. But, <sighs> sometimes it's good to change, even for me. So today, <clears throat> my bronzer is the MAC Pro Long Wear Powder Pressed. Why is that the wrong way around? Why don't you just say pressed powder? Because that's grammatically correct. Whatever, you know what this is, yeah? This colour is in dark. Like, look how fresh it is, look. Look how fresh, fresh, fresh. Anyway, we think that's a good colour, yeah? Oh my god, I can't get that. <laughs> Babish. See, like, look how beautiful and natural that is. I know, I can't believe I just said that either. Who am I? You know what, I even started healthy eating. Like I'm literally losing myself. I am losing India. I'm not even getting started on the healthy eating, just do not ask. <laughs> I have another MAC product. It's even still on the case, like I haven't even got it out. But when I saw this, I haven't even got the words to describe how I felt when I saw this in the shop. Are you ready? Like, what is that? Like, what is that? Have you, like, mm? wow. <sighs> Can't get over it. I'm getting over it now. Okay, so now that we're over that moment, <coughs> I will actually tell you what this product is. This is the MAC. Extra Dimension Skin Finish. Okay, this one is in Show Gold. Okay, one last time, because I just cannot help myself. Hello! Oh my giddy aunt. This is my 
my new best friend. Sorry, Nicola. She's used to adoring. Now, eyebrows. So I have a new product. Basically, I got my eyebrows microbated. Now, you probably can't see the full effect now because I've just gone and whacked on a load of foundation. But basically, my eyebrows really don't need much work anymore. The only reason I do my eyebrows when I put my makeup on is that my makeup kind of goes in my eyebrows and hides the effect of microblading. Microblading is literally the best decision I've ever made. Like. I woke up like this finally applies to me. Okay, so my new brow product, which I use every day, but I'm telling you, I, you, I'm gonna actually show you how I do my eyebrows today because it takes me like five minutes. It takes me no time at all because I literally define them. I do not have to draw them on anymore. Ah! So the brow product that I now use is indeed, obviously, Anastasia Beverly Hills, but this is the brow definer. I still am colored chocolate. Really not that interesting. It's basically the same thing, just in a pencil version. Or a crayon version. Is this. when I got them done. All I could bang on about for like weeks was how long it was taking me to get ready now because I didn't have to do my eyebrows anymore. I like to define my eyes. If you've ever watched like basically any of my videos that are slightly natural, um, you'll know that I always like to define my eyes. So my go-to eye definer is either literally I use my bronzer and like my face powder or I use this. Now this is an eyeshadow from Laura Mercier. No shit, chip lock. Um, but this is like literally my all time favorite natural, because it's me, uh, eyeshadow. Like, it's called cognac. Look at that. Now because I'm just extra, um, I will always go in with whatever highlighter I've used. Obviously I'm using this one today. So I go in with this highlighter or that highlighter and I hit the middle of my lid. So for mascara today, another change and I am so sorry, yet not so sorry because this mascara is amazing. Uh, this is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I love it. I'm sorry, Benefit, but I think you have a serious contender. So, because I don't like change that much, because I don't, um, I am indeed using the Lash Unlimited Lashes in 16. Uh, they're these ones. I don't even have the original box because I don't like the original box. I'm really sorry, Lash Unlimited, but it kind of sucks. And my lashes always get stuck in this slidey thing, so I always put them in my own box. Sorry. They're still the best eyelashes I've ever found. Okay, so for lips, it's MAC again. I'm sorry, but what can I do? So first up, it is lip liner. This one is in oak. This is like basically the same color as my skin and I love it and that's why I love it. Oh, 
So today it is a lip gloss because I feel like I don't have enough, like a lot of lip gloss on my channel. I don't like that. So today it is MAC. Again, I'm sorry. This is MAC Cream Sheen lip gloss. You know, that cream sheen gloss thing. Their amazing lip gloss. That one. Uh, and this is in Boy Bait. Love the sound of that. Oh my god, why can't I open my lip gloss? Oh, there we go. It's about to say. That's why it's boy bait. You need a boy to open it. <sighs> Such a suck up for MAC. Okay, so for finishing spray, it is the MAC's Fix It Plus. I am sorry, yet not sorry, because this shit smells amazing. This is the coconut one. Oh! Yeah. But that's it for my products because this video is over. <laughs>